The news at 11 begins with breaking news, a huge story that's developed fast since you left work. The calls for his resignation are growing every hour, but Virginia Governor Ralph Northam says he's staying in office. Good evening, I'm Leslie Foster. At issue, a racist photo from his medical school yearbook page. It shows one person in blackface, the other dressed as a member of the Ku Klux Klan. Now, we're tackling this story news at 11 style. No spin, just the facts. We'll talk about why this matters. But first, what's happened tonight? Here's John Henry. At his inaugural address, Governor Ralph Northam stressed the importance of helping all Virginians. Tomorrow can be better for people who too often face discrimination, harassment, or violence because of their race, gender, religion. Now a year later, the governor is apologizing to all Virginians for appearing in a photo in this 1984 yearbook from Eastern Virginia Medical School. I am deeply sorry. I cannot change the decisions I made nor can I undo the harm my behavior caused then and today. Northam did not say which one of these offensive characters he dressed up as, but for some people, it doesn't really matter. The president of the Fairfax County NAACP says the damage has been done. It definitely would make it challenging for us to continue to work with him on issues related to race and, 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 and inequity because he's certainly lost a lot of credibility uh, on, on those issues today that I don't know that he could regain just by saying he's sorry. Northam made no mention of resigning tonight. That said, everyone from the national president of the NAACP to the Virginian Republican Party wants him to. If that did happen, this man would become the second black governor in Virginia since Reconstruction, Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax. Ironically, he made national news just two weeks ago when he decided to temporarily stop presiding over the state Senate as a form of protest to senators who wanted to honor Confederate General Robert E. Lee. Here's a little context.